Oh, oh, shell on shell. It's one of the closest snail races I think I've ever seen in my life. My name is Tom, and I like to challenge myself because I want to become a legend. Ah! So close again, so far. Ah! Ah. I'm in Norfolk, England to meet a massive ledge who needs no introduction, Claire Lawrence, who gave up her job moulding the minds of the future to become a full-time professional snail racer. And I'm hoping she can help me overcome my fear of snails and go shell to shell with some of the fastest snails in the world. Hi, is that Claire? It is. You Hi. must be Tom. I hear you're a bit of a legend in the snail racing game. I'm hoping you can show me where you find these champion snails. We'll, we'll have a look around and see what we can find and then set up a little course. And then we can race. Yes. OK, amazing. How did you get into snail racing? Well, I went along to the fate at Congham and my little Sydney made it through to the final and won. And how did you physically and mentally prepare? Well, Sydney, um, I took him up a local hill for some high altitude training. Uh, I fed him on rockets. Nice. And uh, then rocket we, fuel, or just 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 rocket, you know, lettuce type rocket. Is that meant to be good for? Oh, oh, for speed. Yes, Is it? Sure. Where did you uh, find Sydney? Um, he was in the garden, um, hiding under a stone somewhere. Nice. Oh wait. Wait, was there one there? That's like a little diddy one. That, that's more of a worm, I think. Than oh snail, really? But oh yeah, it is. Under here, or is that? Oh. This is the golden gym. Wow, look at that guy. Look at this guy. I'm actually terrified of this guy's power and strength. I'll, I'll get the track then, shall I? Yeah, nice. It's no good having a track because they won't go the way you expect them to go. So, but if it's a circle, at some point, they will go over the finishing line. That was a genuinely astounding amount of snails. Right. They're so tentacly. I am actually really scared of snails, to be fair. But the way he's moving, even though it seems quite relaxed, is actually incredibly terrifying for me in like a weird like sleep paralysis kind of dream way. There's the stickers. Yeah. If we put one on each. Hector one. Schellerin, number one. Just in time for the main event. Five. So if we were having one each, should I get my husband? Yeah, yeah. we could do. <laughs> right, number two, who's going to be number two? Arthur. Arthur. Neymar. What are you going to call him or her? Shelley. Shelley. Steve. Yeah. Number five. David. What, Amy? Yeah. Number six. We're going to go for you, Snail Bolt, here. You're, you're the fastest, so that's why you get you, Snail. Right. Are we ready? Ready, yeah. steady, slow. Yeah. Hmm. Number three's doing well. Shelley's way out in his. Heck, man, heck, what are you doing? Oh, yes, and he's definitely heading for the he's line. Well. Yes. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> Amy. Oh, yeah. That was actually a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. That was yes. actually very yeah. intense. I think because it's uh, dampish weather, right. you know, they're moving quite quickly. OK, since uh, Heck decided to get in the middle of a threesome on this one, we're going to go best of three. Ready, oh, steady, slow. Yes, come on, mate. I'm over here. Uh, you snails off to yeah, a fine yours start. Yours is doing well, yeah. Your snail is doing well. Come on. Heck's only interested in the other competitors. <laughs> three snails just want to have sex. <laughs> Things between Shelley and, and Imi here. Oh. These guys are just rapid. Right, oh, oh. Shell on shell, it's one of the closest snail races I think I've ever seen in my life. Yes! Yes! yes. Hopefully, these guys will get over there sexual frustration <laughs> and actually start racing in the third race. Yeah. yeah, so best of three? Yes, OK. Right. Ready, steady, steady slow. slow. Yes, I think it's Heck's right. heading for Shelley. I think he's going to trap him. You yeah. snail's always been in the race, but he's yeah. never won it. So. Oh, yeah. This I feel is, like this, this could be his time. One. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Come on. Oh, well done, Amy. Well done, well done David. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> From one champion to another. Congratulations. <laughs> so I'm here with the uh, two snail champions, past and uh, present. 
Fancy being beaten by my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, pretty, David. Really nice. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for your hospitality. Oh. Just now racing legend. <laughs> for a pretty let down by Hector Schellerin, to be honest. I think he spent most of his time trying to have sex with the other snails and not actually keeping his eye on the prize and trying to get out of there, which is um, incredibly unprofessional. But most of all, I'm disappointed that I couldn't achieve legend status at something as easy as snail racing. And I was beaten by an old age pensioner. Maybe it had something to do with the fact that I still physically actually hate snails. And so even though I felt like I've overcome my fear of competing with snails, I definitely haven't overcome my fear of actually physically being around snails.